Hello everybody and welcome to my 29th VBA tutorials and this tutorial is going to come off of loops now we're finally done with them uh, and we're going to get into something I've been excited about for a while we're going to get into some real kind of hardcore coding and we're going to start getting into some quite useful techniques for creating larger programs so this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use functions so if we've already been kind of using a form of function so we've been using our sub procedures so I've been doing say a sub matty uh, and then I've been putting my code within this sub procedure now what is interesting about these sub procedures is that you can actually make them run as over and over and over again and you can link them through to each other uh, and you can become really really powerful so from a simple concept I'm gonna have my main sub here so I'm gonna call this sub main uh, main sub and this is gonna be where we we start our code from and then down here underneath the end sub of this sub procedure I'm gonna start off another sub procedure and I'm gonna call this one side sub and then again the parentheses and you notice that it draws a line underneath here uh, and that's just separating our sub procedures for us visually and here we've got one set of code here called a code block in our main sub procedure and we've got another set of code here in our side sub that is is in our side procedure so if we put code in both of these so message box I am in the main sub and then let's just copy that down here I am in the side sub so when we run this code here it's gonna come up with I'm in the main sub but once it gets to end sub it's not gonna run this sub down here at all and similarly if we're in the side sub and we play this then it's gonna say I'm in the side sub and it's not gonna play the the sub procedure up here also similarly if we are in our alt and f8 screen then you'll notice that we've now got both of our subs showing here our main sub and our sign sub and we can run either one and it will only run that one sub now sometimes you don't actually want that sometimes what you want to be able to do is you want this sub procedure to call this sub procedure so um, how you do this is quite simple all you do is put the keyword call and then you put the name of the sub and then you can follow it by parentheses but it's going to get rid of them anyway um, because we haven't got uh, anything with inside them here I'll come on to that a bit later so here we've, we're going to call this code so when we run this program it's going to go down to this line of code here and then it's going to go, okay, I want to call side sub. So it's going to stop running this code and it's going to come down here and then it's going to run this code block instead. So when we run this, we should see it going, do, 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 step one, call side sub. Okay, I'm going to whoosh down here and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to run this message box. And then once I've done here and I've ended this sub, I'm going to jump back up here and then I'm going to carry on with the rest of this code block. So if we run this now, it's going to say, I am in the side sub, and then we press OK, and then it says, I am in the main sub. So that is how, a very basic, you would call a sub procedure. Now, uh, you, can, you don't have to just call it once. Uh, you can call it, let's say we want to call it twice. Let's call it twice. Press play, and it says, I am in the side sub. I am in the side sub and then I'm in the main sub. So this is going to call that sub procedure twice and then what we can also do is we can put it within one of our loops that we've just learned how to do. So we can say for x equals 1 to 5 and then next x and then when we play this then it's going to call I'm in the side sub five times uh, and so that can be really useful if you've got a sub procedure that you want to keep running over and over and over again then that can be a really useful thing to do so that's the basic of 
calling other sub procedures. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you a little bit about variable scope, and then we're going to start coming on to some really powerful techniques you can use with the the used calling different functions and different sub procedures. So thanks for listening, and I really hope to catch you in the next tutorial.